Praise the Lord, everyone. It is five minutes after seven, and my name is Mother Gail Trailer. How are you? How are you in this wide world of <sighs> blessings? Well, tell you, I'm holding on to his unchanging hand. I'm holding on by faith. That's what he gave me. He gave me a proportion of faith. Before I open up the word of God today, I want you to pray along with me. For these are trying times. I don't know what's happening in the news, in your part of the world, but I know what's happening in my part of the world, right here. There's a battle going on. There's a battle going on. And God's word is being fulfilled. The word of God, which uh, I am caused to remember right now, is blessed is he that endureth until the end, for the same shall be saved. Blessed is he that endureth. Well, you might say to yourself, what am I enduring? I'm enduring hardship through oh, circumstances beyond my control, enduring oh, troubles and trials and a lot of fear has attempted to come on board. But I'm going to endure every battle through Christ. Mm -hmm. Because I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. But before I speak from the Word of God, I want to pray. Can you pray with me? Come on. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify your holy name because you are true, you are just. You are pure, and there is none like you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for taking us through the days before. Lord, thank you, Father God, for the word. We sometimes forget, and we, Lord, fail to pick up that word and to read that Bible because we are human and we are still capable of temptation. The temptation to hide, to run. And when we hide and run from your word, Lord, we are bound to stumble and fall. So, precious Father, on this 24th day of July, we're asking you, Lord, to help us to bring it to our remembrance so that the Holy Spirit can use it throughout this day. This is the day the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father God, for keeping our family, friends, our neighbors, and loved ones. We thank you, Lord, for taking us through the upheavals and the trials of this lifetime. Thank you, Lord, for the men and women of God for standing on your word, and speaking, Father God, words of encouragement. We ask you to bless those who are, Father God, leaders at this time leaders of homes, leaders of countries, leaders of jobs, on jobs, leaders, Lord, everywhere. Father God, have your way today. This 24th day of July, 2020. Find fear, loose the spirit of courage, 
foremost, Lord, help us to stand on your word. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, no matter what we uh, do right now, we are not going to um, repeat life as it was last year or the year before. Um, to me, it seems as if, uh, oh, it was easy, you know, it was easy, it was, um, it was pleasant, it was simple, um, you had a routine, and you kept that routine, and you just stayed right in that routine, and, and didn't change but this is 2020 and there has been a a change in schedule um, so much has changed that uh, we are tempted to become frustrated do you ever get frustrated because things don't go your way or because there seems to be no no return to the norm as you are used to it. Well, I find myself a little perturbed as I wait. And I'm like you, I'm learning to wait. During these times of uh, change from the norm, remember this, that his word stands. You want to be kept in peace. You must keep your mind stayed on him. And I don't just mean pray. I mean, pick up his word. Don't let those Bibles get dusty. Have I let my Bible get dusty? Yeah, there are days. I'm ashamed to say. Yeah. And then I find myself so uncertain, so insecure, so... discouraged, so depressed, wanting to hide, wanting yesterday to come back, and wanting uh, the security of my routine. However, these are the last and evil days, and Blessed is he that endureth unto the end. And we've got to endure as hard soldiers. A soldier that puts on his old armor, that helmet, that breastplate, that shield, those loins girt about, uh, feet shod, that shield of faith, that sword of the Spirit. We need His Word. I'm going to read Scripture. And um, I hope that uh, you will hear this Scripture and take it to heart and that the Holy Spirit will use it throughout this day. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Okay. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be careful for nothing, but in 
everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Justified by faith. We have peace. Isaiah 26 and 12. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast brought all our works in us. Hallelujah. It's you, Lord, working through us. And you've ordained peace for us. Isaiah 55 and 12. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Hallelujah. Psalm 37, 37. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. The perfect man. Mark the perfect man. And behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Hallelujah. Carnally minded. It's a mind that's always thinking about the flesh and how to uh, how to to maintain or to comfort or walk in the flesh, you know, according to what your flesh desires. To be carnally minded is death. Carnal. Needy, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Spiritually minded, praying, prayer, supplication, hymns, Psalms one nineteen one sixty five. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Hallelujah. Isaiah 57 and 2, he shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. Hallelujah. Romans 14, 17 to 19 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God. Let me read that again. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Hallelujah. Edifying one another. Help us, Lord. To Lift one another up today. Psalm 37 and 11. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The meek. Hmm. That's the power under control. Amen. We have power. Human beings have power. Power to, to go forth, to move, to change, to be angry. Power to make a change. But to meekness, that's power under the control of the Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 13 and 11 says, Finally, brethren, farewell, be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Be of good comfort, be of peace, be of one mind, and the God of 
love and peace shall be with you. The God of love and peace shall be with you. That's what brings us together, that God of love and peace. Romans 15 and 13, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit or the power of the Holy Ghost. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans 15 and 13. Praise God for the living word. Hallelujah. We can make it, saints. We can make it. And whatever you do, keep your, you know, keep your mind on Christ. Yeah, we're human and we love entertainment and we love to do a lot of things that we used to do. But now more than ever before, it is time for us to focus and to remember that in order for us to obtain and, and walk in, in faith, we have to remember that he is the God of peace and that through his word we live and move and have our being. He became flesh and dwelt among us. Thank God for Jesus. Hold on, saints. Hold on. On this 24th day of July, watch that carnal mind. Watch as well as pray. May God bless you today and keep you. Remember to love one another, to forgive, and to be of one mind. Look out for one another. May God bless you today. I'm Mother Gail Trailer. This is Just In Case.